Welcome to Founders Club, the show for real estate entrepreneurs. What do you think as far as like activities wise, we as agents should be doing right now? Because I think fear is paralyzing people, uncertainty is far- paralyzing people, and a lot of people just are putting their heads in the sand, yep. where you and I both know homes are still selling every day, people are still buying, people are still selling, and a lot of agents are having their best year ever right now during this whole crazy time. So. How, what should agents be doing every day to stay on the ball? So first, kissing frogs. Okay, let's every kiss those frogs. Every motivated seller, every motivated seller is a prince. But when you see them, they look like a frog. In other words, you can't tell if they're a motivated seller or not. So what do you do? You got to kiss them. Okay. You got to have a conversation with them. So you, more frogs you kiss, more princes you're going to find. Mm. So kissing frogs is the first step. Just and whether you're a new agent or a seasoned agent, whether those are frogs you know or frogs you don't. The more frogs you kiss, the more princes you're going to find. <laughs> now, there is a way to target that. I know you own a home. I know these are downsizers. That's a better, more likely right. going to be a prince. Right. Uh, I say that uh, sellers are frogs. Um, buyers are snails. They're both slimy. <laughs> you got to kiss both of them. But when you kiss a frog, they can leap your business forward. When you kiss a snail, it's just going to slowly drag you along. That's a buyer. So... Um, but one is, is kissing frogs. Okay. And there, there's a, there is a, a, a Mercedes card sales guy in uh, Britain, in England, that is number, the number one sales guy, use, uh, a new car salesperson for Mercedes in the UK. Okay. He sold in 2018, I don't know about last year, but in 2018, he sold five times more cars than the number two sales guy in all of the UK. Wow. So not so he's five a times more than the average, he <laughs> sold five times more than number two. What right. do you do different than everybody else? Well, and you go into a car dealership, whoever the neck up, the up sales person, they come walking up, hey, can I help you? So when you're not the up guy, you're just hanging out. You just wait and you're surfing the internet, drink coffee, shooting the bull with the guys or whatever. This guy walked out of the dealership, he walked out on the main street that in front, every dealership's on a busy street, right? He would stand on the curb and he would flag people down and sell them cars. That is happening today in the 21st century. A guy walks out there and stops cars. He kisses frogs all day, every day. Now, he doesn't stop every car. And do you think he ever ever has people honk at him? Oh, I'm sure. Yell he gets at him, just salute torn him. Torn up. Oh, he gets ripped pieces. Yeah. But that's not what he's looking for. He's looking for the people that he can sell cars to. Yeah. So here's who he stops. People that own are driving a Mercedes Benz that is two to five years old. Yep. That's what I was exactly what I was going to say. He probably, he probably looks for the older Mercedes Benzes first. And he knows that they're the ones that, one, he doesn't have to sell them on the quality Mercedes. They're already a customer. They're already a customer. And their dealer, their car, their car salesperson has never talked to them since never. the sale. Right. And the new models are so much better. Mm-hmm. So all he's got to do is start a conversation and they come and he, he literally, where the, the best guy out there will sell two cars a day, he sells 10. Mm. Wow. Because he just goes out there and stands on the curb. So what does that's that look frogs. like? What does that look like for an agent? Is that pounding the phones? Is it that... depends. So okay. this goes back now to the 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 how, where the business is. Okay. Okay. So I'm looking at expires and for sale by owners. Pounding the phones right now is probably the best way to do that. Yeah. Um, but it, here's the key to real success is a multi-dimensional approach. Mm. I call it MMA, a mixed method approach to selling real estate, just like MMA. Love what it. Bruce Lee did is a, as a martial artist was he said, it's not just one martial art. He said, I take all the different, uh, all the different um, martial arts and I pick the best of the best and I bring them all in and I have multiple different strategies that I'll use from whatever I can use. Mm. So an MMA and real estate, a mixed method approach is, I built my business as a real estate agent with one, I had a one shot approach phone calls. Okay. I called expires for sale by owners three hours a day, every day. That's all I did. I didn't door knock. I didn't send mailers. I didn't talk to people I knew. I did one thing. I called for sale by owners expires every day. And it was either a yes or a no. That was it. You hung up on me next. It was just that simple. Doesn't work anymore. Now, I mean, it works, but you can't have the success that I had back in the day because it's harder to get people to talk to you. They're less skeptical. They're more skeptical. They won't give you as much time. It's just harder than it was. They don't, they have cell phones and they won't, you know, if they don't recognize your phone, they're not going to answer all that kind of stuff. So it needs a mixed method approach. So now we use phone, we use text, we use 
we use uh, mailers. We use, you can door knock if you're in a market where that's right now, it's kind of tough to do door knocking. But the point is, is the more different ways that I can approach that, and we've got a lot of strategies. By the way, uh, our, I mentioned our event that's coming up, Agent Mastery yeah. Live. You can go to agentmasterylive.com, get your tickets. Yeah, check um, that out. Definitely. It's a virtual, three day virtual event. We're gonna be d going deep into these exact strategies of a mixed method approach for getting business today, whether you're wanting to go after the non owner occupied properties, or the expired and for sale by owners or your personal circle, we're gonna lay all of that out of this mixed method approach. So with your personal circle, we used to, I taught you call them. And if they're your A team, you call them every month. Mm -hmm. Well now calling people don't, don't want to answer their phone. So what do you do? Mixed method approach. So one month you call, one month you text, one month's handwritten note, Facebook message, email, whatever, or email, whatever. Right. but I'm just in a party for my people, a client appreciation party. They're just different. So we use these different approaches and these different angles to create top of mind awareness and to get in front of an expired. Mm -hmm. If an expired gets a call from me and a text from me and a video from me and a mailer from me or three mailers from me, my probabilities of getting them to connect just became way better. Way higher, yeah. And if I can give them a way to check me out without talking to me, it's even better. So we train what we call the online vortex, which is better than them Googling you because when they Google you, who's in control of the conversation? Google. Google is, yeah. But when you know, when you have an online vortex, it means you have a way to get them to come to you and check you out. So how do I sell my book? I have an online vortex. Okay. When they come to thebookofyes.com, they go to my, get a free copy of my book. I have a video. They can check me out. They can check out my book. They can check out what other people say about my book. And they don't ever have to talk to me and they don't have to spend any money. Yep. So that by the time they decide to talk, to order a book, they've already checked me out. Okay, well, if, a, if we can teach an agent to create an online presence that allows people to check you out and feel like, I know that agent, mm. I, that's my agent, that's the one I want to work with. Yeah. And so we te teach what we call the six gravitons, which are six different elements that we put into an online vortex that makes them go like, I need to talk to that agent. I don't want to talk to any other agents, that's the agent I need to talk to. Yeah. When you put all that, co and that's the cocktail, that is a mixed method approach, you put all that together, it is irresistible. I love it. I love the MMA approach. Yep. I love that you called it that yep. too. And, uh, <laughs> and it's 2020, it's 2020. Yeah. This is not, I mean, I started, I started back in the 1900s. Right. Things that worked back then don't work the way they did. Yeah. So this it, is stuff that's working now. This is stuff that's working right now. Which is right the key. Yep. Yeah. And it's um, better, but it's different. Totally agree. Everything's different right now on that note. <laughs> um, so back to what we should be doing right now. We're kissing a lot of frogs. So that's using the MMA approach, texting, calling, emailing, Facebooking, all that kind of stuff. What else should we start be doing? Well, start with your relationships that you know. And don't, and this is, you know, agents are like, ah, oh, but I'm new and I'm like, well, I'm afraid. You don't know. And, and one, nobody's gonna be upset at you for calling them. People that like you, they like to help you. Right. So you gotta be confident and you gotta go in and go like, I'm excited about what I'm doing. I'm, the, I'm learning to be the best at what I'm doing. You got somebody that needs to buy or sell, I don't want them to get stuck with an amateur. They need to be working with me. So, so you got to be the kind of agent that people want to refer business to. Yeah. So this is like, what's the first strategies? Commit to get good. This is one of the first superpowers. That commitment. was one of your four superpowers. That's right. Exactly. It's your commitment. Yeah. The moment you go, people are like, well, I'm new, but how do I get good? You know, I, I'm not good yet. Here's the thing. What, the moment you commit to become the best, you just got better. How you approach the business, you just changed You're the just way you gonna show look up. look at things The different. intensity of the right. way you show up. You get somebody that starts in the game and they're like, I'm gonna become an, an NBA superstar. Even when they're a kid, they're No better. matter what, pandemic Everybody or not. Everybody wants him on the team. Injury or not. Doesn't matter. Everything, I'm, I'm doing this no how, matter what. That was how Kobe Bryant came into the NBA. Little kid, I mean, he was, he was good. Right. But he came in with that. Tom Brady came in and he wasn't good compared to, you know, he was considered not a good player coming at the in, beginning, in, yeah. the, in the NFL. Um, Jerry Rice, leading touchdown scorer in the history of the NFL by far. And he was one of the slowest wide receivers ever, <laughs> right? But nobody trained like him to be the best. And when he showed up, he said, I'm gonna be the best. I'm gonna be the best ever. Muhammad Ali, how did he start up? I am the greatest, even before he won <laughs> yeah, fights. Right. So you gotta show up that way before you, and then when you start talking to people, you got conviction behind you. Why, would, why should, how can I expect you to trust me if I don't trust me. Mm. So I'll give you another example of this. Mm. So yeah. 
you got to believe in yourself and in your commitment to helping your clients. So Sergio Nazaro, who is one of my, uh, he's actually one of our, he's our, he's our one of our coaches. Uh, he, besides me, he's our only coach. And uh, Sergio has only been in real estate for two and a half years. It took him 26 months from the time as a brand new agent when he started full time, 26 months to make his first million dollars. Wow. So that's how good he is. That's insanely now, fast. Here's how he got good. He doesn't prospect. Okay. He doesn't market. Okay. He builds relationships. Go on. That's all he does. Okay. Now, he had some good relationships to begin with, but he's a, he's a competent guy. So a lot of agents don't come in with the kind of confidence he had. But that confidence is what let him win. So he's, he's young, so he doesn't like have all these connections with rich people. A lot of his people are first-time home buyers, which he hates, but there's people. So here's what he did. His first deal, he was, he was, uh, was one of his friends. And he found out his friend was buying a house, and he goes like, let me help you. And the guy goes, dude, you don't know what you're doing. You're brand new. And he said, I had to fight. And he said, I told that dude, look, nobody's gonna work harder and do a better job than I'm gonna do. Even though I'm new, give me a shot because I'm gonna take care of you because I'm committed to it. And it took him weeks to convince that friend to actually use him. Mm. But when he used him, he got the deal, he helped him buy the house, and he won. He got the deal because he was not afraid to fight for the deal. Yeah. And he was not, he didn't go in like, yeah, well, my, my people, they don't trust me. So I got to go out and convince strangers to hire me and try to trick some people into hiring me so I can get good. And then I'll start talking to my people. Yeah, Big yeah. mistake. Right. So what people need to be doing right now is trusting yourself, committing to get good. Start with that commitment. You get, you take commitment, competence, which you can learn fast if you're willing to get a good coach. Yeah. You know, come, come train with me for three days at Agent Mastery Life. It'll change your business. Yeah. So, yeah, honestly, just a real quick shout out to Kevin. We have had a lot of agents that are in your program. Um, Emil speaks very highly of you, so shout out Emil. Um, but yeah, definitely check out his event, Agent Mastery Live. Uh, highly recommend it. And uh, his approach is different than a lot of other coaches, which I like. I think it's um, very grounded in real world um, experience which I think is different than a lot of other coaches who just kind of teach theory and somewhat yeah, generic, no uh, you know, <laughs> stuff. So just want to give you a plug on that. I mean, I appreciate great it. event, yeah. great feedback from our agents and yeah. all around, I think. Yes, yeah, it's, um, it's going to be awesome. So, and, and Sergio is going to be there speaking about how he went from zero to a million dollars in 26 months. Awesome. Um, and right now he's having his biggest year ever. In the middle of shutdown, his business continues to grow. I mean, he's already surpassed last year's production and he's in the first seven months wow, of this great. year. Um, so you just see this kind of growth happen when you do the right stuff. So you gotta be out talking to people. Start with people you know. I would be going hard after for sale owners and expires. There's still not many of them out there because inventory's been so low and I get that. Um, but then I would, st I would start looking at non-owner occupied properties right now. I will, you get, you get their, comp their information from your title company yeah. or whoever you can go get them from. Um, and you start getting those lists and you call them, you mail them. What do I mail them? I will be training that Asian Mastery Live. I can't yeah. tell, I mean, there's sure. just, I, yeah, yeah. I can't give you the whole thing um, just because of time, but you, you the MMA approach. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and then you just keep after them, keep after them. And, uh, business is going to come from that and then train skills are more important today than ever before you got to know how to handle objections you got to know how to be competent answer questions be confident you got to know what's happening in the market um, I just shot a new video this morning that'll go out on YouTube next week um, and uh, they can follow me on YouTube just go to Ke just look up Kevin Ward Real yeah State, we'll put Kevin that Ward on now. Lito put that on for him yeah so um, I just did this video on how to stay on top of the market, to know what's happening in the market, how to track the statistics and all that. And we're actually providing them a free download of a spreadsheet. Awesome. So they can, here, here's the exact stata statistics that you need to track and all of that um, so that you can become the economist in your city. Yeah. The real estate economist in your city. Um, because that, again, that expertise people will trust and you become that resource. Um, and, and the data doesn't lie. And the right? data doesn't Once you lie. present the data yeah. to a seller, it makes things the, a lot easier. Uh, yeah, I mean, the data can lie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to oversimplify it. Yeah. Because right now, what it, you, it can look like home prices are going up. Well, they are in some markets. Right. But that can deceive them, make them think, oh, the market's going to keep going up. Just because it's going up today right. does not mean it's going to keep going up. 
uh, you know, we. I was, uh, yeah, totally agree. I was more thinking of like just how many homes have sold in your market, how many are at, you know active right now, what's the average sale time, things right. like that. Because when you can spit those numbers, and those are all available through your different associations, that's they're all it. public, free information that's easy to find. But when you can know those numbers, you are the expert then. Yep. Yep. And the more familiar are you with them, the more familiar you are with them, the more confidence you have in that communication. So, yeah, absolutely. If you're new to the channel, my name is Oliver and I'm a three-time Inc. 500 real estate entrepreneur. I'm a co-founder of a brokerage with over a thousand agents doing four billion in sales and I'm an active real estate investor. But most importantly, I'm passionate about helping you grow your real estate business. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's go.